Hello engineers, in this video I will explain how one can start multiple VMs using Azure DevOps and a scheduled job for Azure Hyperscaler. First thing first, if you like my content, subscribe on my channel and press the like button on the video. So in order to getting started, you should have AZ CLI installed. This is a utility that helps you interact with Azure portal. So the first thing is to install AZ CLI and then read the documentation about AZ VM start. So we need to start VMs automatically on Azure as this functionality can be incorporated into the automation account and it's not built in on Azure VM resource by default. So you can accomplish this job by creating a pipeline which I have already created and you can see the code here. So we define some parameters and those parameters are the VMs that I want to start automatically. So you can go and add multiple VMs, for example, another VM, another VM by separating with comma and by placing them in the object that I have defined here. So you can use this pipeline in order to automatically open multiple VMs. And this is accomplished by a loop that I have created here. So this loop uses the AZ CLI, which gets the list of VMs and finds the resource group because AZ CLI needs to have as a parameter for the VM start command needs to have the resource group on which the particular VM belongs to. So you want to get that automatically. Using this code, you will get automatically the resource group for the VMs and by only providing the VMs, you will start them automatically. The only thing that you need to specify for this functionality to work is your subscription which should be a service connection. So you should press under project settings and then go under service connections and add your service connection with Azure. So I have already this in place and make sure that you will use the name that is defined here. So in this particular example, I should place this as Azure MSDN. You can change this also by clicking settings and specifying here the Azure Resource Manager connection for your pipeline. So when you run this pipeline, you will see that automatically the VMs that have been provided as a parameter will start using a loop, the loop that is defined. You can also trigger this pipeline automatically so you start the VMs without running manually the pipeline. So in order to accomplish that, you should go in your pipeline and press the three dots and then edit your triggers tab. Then the settings for the trigger will appear and you can here under scheduled section, you can add your schedule for this pipeline to run automatically. And you can also select your branch. So there you can define your days and also the hours that you want this pipeline to run automatically. Then you will have to save the pipeline and you will have a schedule ready for it. The service connection that you will create can be found under service connection, new service connection and you have to select the Azure Resource Manager connection and then use the service principal automatic. Azure then will pop up a window to find the available subscriptions for your pipelines and you can then select a particular resource group or all the resource group that are under this subscription. Then you should Tick the grant access permission to all pipelines and then save your service connection. 
Thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, press the like button and subscribe to my channel.